I've been in a relationship with somebody that didn't speak. And that was scary. It was walking on eggshells. Like, men not talking is a dangerous thing. Because they're going to always react. They're going to cheat. They're going to do something. They're going to not do what you tell them to do. Like, if you ask them to do something, they're going to get you back. Like, that, it's that quiet little anger. Like, you need to worry about that. So you're not getting away with anything as a woman. So it's very important that they are able to express themselves. So I think that's why I said it was, like, kind of extreme to just go run to crying and sassy because we're quick to label and, and dismiss their feelings and whatever they're going through. I think you should be able to hear him out. I, I agree with P-Ray because men do need to be masculine. They do need to get around their boys. They need that space. But if he's going through something, like, once or twice a year that's why i asked that question like how often should a man cry no don't come crying every week but if you're going through something deep every once or twice a year or something like that you should be able to go to your woman and and and, and shed a few tears if it if it had it had to be like that if he has nobody on his side you can't be like well you're crying now i'm leaving the hospital you know what i mean like you gotta be you gotta have balance you gotta have both i'm not saying that we should be their rock we can't build him but the men can do that part but we have our part to play, and then the men have their part to play. All right, let's go to Sweeney, and then I got to transition to this next video. Go ahead, Sweeney. Also, I think... Hold on, my bad, man. These damn glasses going off. Um, also, I think what has happened is, because we we look to celebrity... I think, first of all, I don't think men are more, are more sassy. I think they're more vocal. They speak more than they've ever done before. That's because out of a... Out of one, out of necessity... But also out of by just simple request. When you look at the celebrities today, right? They used to didn't talk. They used to not let you in. They used to go about, they they came out, they showed their face, say hey to the crowd, did their job and went home. Why do you why was Twitter created? So that we can create a closer space to these celebrities so they can be able to speak their minds and tell us how they feel about shit and all of that, right? And this is how you get celebrities to start speaking out. So now that they're telling us how, what they're going through and to consider the fact that they're going through a completely different type of lifestyle and a completely different type of experience than the rest of us, that shit looks weird to us. But the reality is, is that they didn't used to say nothing. They used to just one day the celebrity just wound up. You found out they took a bunch of pills and they passed away or they blew their brains out, or they did, or they deleted themselves, or, they, or they're or they in therapy, I mean, not therapy, or they're in rehab, or they go crazy, and we'd be like, well, what the fuck happened to them? Like, we, we're we watching Nicki Minaj crash out in front of us live and in color on Twitter right now. She expressed herself about everything. And then we say, well, what the fuck is wrong with her? Well, y'all asked her. Y'all told her to speak her mind, and now they're speaking their mind, and now we're talking, we trying to put the, uh, put the cork back on the bottle. You're just not going to be able to do that. You can't unring that bell. You ask people to be more, people are more vocal about how they feel about things. And I agree. I don't think we should be crying all the time. Men, most men don't cry all that often. A man on average maybe cries maybe 10, maybe if that, they said the stat, they said the stat is 1,400 times a year. I don't believe that. I think most men only cry about maybe one, maybe like six times out the year, even if that. No, so, no, stick with your stats. That's not right. I, I I don't I can't don't quote me on the stat I can't remember exactly what the stat was, but most men aren't crying we just more vocal and that is what's being considered sassy. Every time we hear men, man, these men talk going back and forth with me. They must be sassy. It's like no, bitch, you saying some wild shit on here, and some niggas got some shit to say about that. You don't get to come out here and just talk your shit and then expect men to just sit there and take your shit. Nah, they gonna talk shit back. They gonna tell you no, you're wrong. No, I don't like this. No, I don't fuck with that. And you don't get to call them sassy to shut down the conversation because that's actually what's happening today. Yes, do we see some men cry and that shit comes off as weird? Yeah, but we know how to identify. Us as men know how to identify the weird behavior. We know how to identify weak ass niggas who just bitching. But we also, but when you, but when we hear these conversations, most of the time when men are getting called sassy, it's just them being more vocal about the shit that they experience. And somebody wants to shut down a conversation and tell them, be quiet. For example, that man in that video, the first guy, he wasn't even disrespectful to the woman because he even said, I'm talking to women. I'm talking about your generation in general. And to some degree, he's right about her generation in general. And then what he caught was her making faces and reacting to him. He said, what are you making those faces for? 
so he addressed what she was doing. And, and the thing is, is that a lot of us do make faces and stuff like that. And we can see that body language can come off as disrespectful. So if she's going to say him addressing her, her faces, her faces is disrespectful and calling it out. Then what do you think you making all those faces while he's trying to have, while he's having this conversation about his problems with black women and you sitting over there smacking your lips, rolling your head, rolling your neck, looking crazy. Because like, he was talking about Lyra. We know Lyra right. don't have no daddy. Lyra been on Ayala before. We've seen Lyra's story. So even though so, he said he's talking about uh, women he, in jail, not you, not but know. I'm saying people who watch Ayala, we know Lyra's story, okay? So he knew coming on there because he on the show, he probably seen Lyra's show and he was talking about Lyra. That's why Lyra responded like that. When he's talking, talking about women in general, when he said, oh, women don't have fathers and all that stuff, Lyra's whole episode was about her not having a father. He was sneak dissing, and she responded to that. And even that sneak dissing is sassy. Being how petty you, is sassy. How do you know and that? And that's what she was responding to. That's what Ayala picked up. That's what I picked up. So it wasn't about know? her making her faces. It was about him talking about her. So he, if, he, if, if, if the man says I'm speaking about women in general and said I'm speaking about that generation in general and you say no you're saying this how do That's you not the reason why he brother if I say exactly. if I say black men who wear black okay black men who wear black rim glasses and black hats with black hoodies with a face on it and headphones those black men uh, eat their boogers you gonna but, look at yourself and wait say, well, damn, that's not what he did. But, but he stated a fact though. With her. But he stated a fact, and he made sure to disclose that he wasn't talking about her. Maybe because he knows she didn't have a dad, and because mm -hmm. of the episode, he made the disclosure and he made his statement, and she took it personal. That's exactly what she did. Like she sometimes we have to learn how to take somebody's word. And if a, if the man is wrong. telling you, I'm not talking about you, I'm speaking in general. You don't get to continue to tell him what he's talking about. You have to take what he says at face value. And even when she, and even what's crazy is, is even when Ayala, Ayala addressed him, he said, you know what? I apologize. Mm. You want to know what she did? Did she apologize? No. She wanted to go back and forth. Well, I got something to say. I want to speak my shit. He got to talk his shit. He ain't even get through his whole sentence. She a woman. Women supposed to respond emotionally. That man is supposed to come with that logic. But when that man matches that woman's emotions, that's that sassiness we talking about. She was being immature. So that's just she, yeah, right. she was. She, she was a she a young girl. That's why I say if you watch Lyra's episode, you know exactly who you was dealing with. He knew she's a woman. Was dealing with. This wasn't random. That was a grown ass so, woman. So I, mean, I found some data. Woman. Child. She I found some data. You know, if, on, if, have you seen Lyra's episode? I'm, 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 hold on. You Have you seen her episode of Ayala's Fix My Life? No, I don't think that. But, uh, but he saw it. You know what I'm saying? He was on the show. He's obviously he a fan of the show. He knew what he was doing. He was being petty and he was picking. Oh, and she understand. picked up on it like yeah. Ayala you can't, did. Assume, you can't assume that. You cannot assume that. Well, me, Lyra, and Ayala came to the same conclusion. All right, go ahead. Hold on. Trev got some information. Go ahead, Trev. Yeah, no, I, I just went and looked up some data because um, everybody's saying that men are crying a lot. Um, so they're saying that 20% of men cry in private, 5% of men cry in public, and a man cries on average anywhere from 5 to 17 times a year. My, so my statement was the representation of men online are crying a whole lot. And these new niggas is wearing nail polish and purses. That's not the norm. And expressing their stuff, their emotions. That's, but that's because yeah, they that's feel not the like norm. That, that might be just what comes up in your algorithm. That's not normal. Most that's not how most men are. When you go outside, I know you're not seeing that. I don't see that. And most cities I travel to, I, you see it, but it's not like on average. Like we won't have a difficult. A woman's gonna have a difficult time finding a man who's not we wearing a a man bag or or fingernail polish. I think that's that's kind of. Can I crazy I don't, I don't think it's that deep it's not that many men that are doing it i think we're we're uh grossly exaggerating the amount of men that are crying it's not that deep 